the stuff that he'd been through, physically he just couldn't get there. I said, Jay, I don't want to shoot this buck. And he said, listen, he said, me and you deserve him. We work at it harder than everybody else. And if anybody deserves this deer, it's us. I was self-filming because I was obviously by myself and I had my camera on a, on a camera arm. I looked up the, up the ridge and he's coming right to me. He started walking. So I draw my bow and get ready and he stops and starts eating acorns. Uh, and now I've been holding, I don't know how long. So I lean back and close my eyes and refocus. And when I do, he'd turn and he's quartering away from me at 17 yards with his head down. I hit that release and it popped. And he went about 10 yards and stopped and turned around and looked. And I picked up my, my binoculars and looked in the binoculars and blood was just pouring out of him. He toppled down right here. I walked out and he's waiting with waiting for me at the at our pickup point at the at the ranger. I set my bow on the back of the ranger and I said I killed him. And he looked at me and he said, Do what? And I said, I I killed that deer. And I know that we're brothers, like I say, we're brothers and we do it together. And it's his deer and he deserved him. I'm glad you got him though. And I was worried how it would feel if I walked out of there and told him that I didn't shoot him. And I had the chance and then we never saw him again. I knew I knew that deer was that man's dream. I wanted so bad. When he was in the hospital, you know, and I thought multiple times that he wasn't gonna live. I told him, I leaned down in his ear and I said, you survived this and I'll, we'll, I'll get you a Boone and Crockett buck. I'll get him a Boone and Crockett buck. You write it down. I'll get him a Boone and Crockett buck. Over a decade in, and times and people change. But Jesus always stays the same. No matter what the world tells us, the most important things will always be our faith and our family. Hunting is how we share the gospel and bring the lost toward Christ. And all of this starts right at home. So join us as we take the light into the darkness. Three years later, I'm as good looking as I ever was. Randy says he's slimmer, slimming down a little bit. So we're uh, we're still after him. Uh, been doing good. Johnny's done good. He's had some recent episodes, working towards possibly getting on a transplant list in the coming weeks. Uh, but overall, I'd say he's done pretty well. You know, he's, he's gonna nod. You gonna turn? I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you know, not that Paul and Johnny already didn't have a great relationship. But when we almost lost Johnny to a Widowmaker heart attack, everything changed, that relationship changed, and they realized how many things you just can't take for granted. You know, that deer was that I harvested was the biggest buck of my life, but I said then and I said now and I said to the day I die, that wasn't my deer, that was his deer, and I felt bad about it and I thought about it. When I'm looking, I'm looking for uh, him a Boone and Crockett buck. He argues with me and tells me that I, you know, oh, you know, I, I just don't. I mean, I like, obviously he's a beautiful deer and he's a great deer, but he's just not my deer. You know, there's no doubt these guys work really, really hard at growing big, giant, free-range whitetail here in Oklahoma. And the results of that hard work that they put in year-round speaks for itself. I'm glad we hunt better than we look. The most attractive team member, he's outside trying to suntan. Here he comes. <laughs> what look, at you, you, look at them muscles, ladies. He's available. We're still very adamant and very uh, well, dedicated to letting these deer get to their full potential. We learn these deer, we, we see these deer, we uh, get to know them. I mean, it becomes pretty personal. And we've been on the saying since we were become buddies and hunting buddies. You know, you can't kill a 180 if you kill him when he's 160. Hard work pays off. And these guys, well, they prove it. But now we're counting booners. We're not counting shooters. We're counting booners when we, when we take inventory on camera. 
You think? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks for your input. Yeah. This segment is brought to you by Vortex Optics, backed by the unconditional, unlimited lifetime warranty. To learn more, visit vortexoptics.com and by these fine sponsors. This segment's brought to you by Taylor Targets, makers of the all-American-made Pro Series Pro Base. Learn more at taylortargets.com. And by Habit Outdoors. Support the ministry by using promo code FDO15 at checkout for 15% off your entire Habit order. To learn more, visit habitoutdoors.com. And by Powerbelt Bullets, makers of America's number one muzzle-loading bullet. Learn more at powerbeltbullets.com. Oki Hides blinds are first class, American made hunting blinds built by experienced hunters. The solid steel framework of our blinds is designed to handle anything nature can throw at them. And our marine grade carpet, blackout curtains, and high quality windows will keep you comfortable and ready for action. To order or customize your next blind, visit okihides.com. Oki Hides, first class blinds, built for the hunt. From the makers of the most accurate broadheads on the planet. Thorn Broadheads proudly introduces the all-new XV. The same pinpoint accuracy at a fraction of the cost. Order yours at thornbroadheads.com. High cost and low supply of building materials has put added stress on both contractors and weekend renovators. True Aim was created by contractors to supply customers with affordable products at unbeatable prices like GFCI outlets starting at $9.50, USB A and C equipped outlets starting at $11.50. TrueAim also specializes in affordable smart home integration. For more information or to order products, visit TrueAimSupply.com. JTS, AK, and AR style shotguns give citizens the confidence, power, and precision to protect the home or take to the field. Optics ready, nimble, and designed to be used from a blind or stand. JTS controls every step of production to ensure you have a gun that can protect what you love and pursue the sport you love. This segment has been brought to you by PSE Archery, bows engineered for the professional bow hunter. To learn more, visit pscarchery.com and by these fine sponsors. You know, I've actually known Paul since we were both in diapers. And when he told Johnny, I'm going to make sure you get a Boone and Crockett buck, I knew he was going to do exactly that. You could take that to the bank. We're, uh, we just do like we do every year. We have our build-a-bone sites out, our mineral sites, our protein feeders. You know, we never do bring our reveal trail cameras in. We leave them uh, after season. We leave them till they lose their horns, till they shed. And then we start back on them. And again, when it comes time to grow, we're watching these deer and and monitoring their progress and just basically like I say, we learn them. We learn the deer, know what deer is where. We had, you know, what we have, we had four or five different deer that were close to be shooters, you know. Trent, our, our good buddy, found one he really liked. And so we had three or four shooters, but we were still looking for, you know, for that one special one. This property is just really big. And so trying to pattern these deer is a little bit a little bit harder. I'd feed and, and buck blitz them and and I'm a Big time believer in buck blitz, <laughs> and so we call it bagger powder. Yeah, you so got a special concoction. Bring every pig within. A I won't. I won't tell them though because I don't want them to tell other people what my recipe is. It's like that old. What's that dog on the old old bean commercial? Yeah, <laughs> we had a couple of just. I mean, dinks. Uh, Fridays I'd go check cameras and nothing, nothing. Cows knock over the feeder. Go out there, clean up everything, put it back up. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And this is just a never-ending story. I'm done with it, pulled the card, head to the house, and I go get pizza and go meet my wife for lunch. And I'm eating lunch and checking out cars, just what I do, and I'm like, holy moly. I'm in work doing clinic, and he calls me. I don't answer. He calls me again, I don't answer. I'm trying to do charts, I'm like, come on, man. And he texts me, he said, answer your phone. So I answer, and he says, get ready. He said, we're, we're in the business. And I said, I ain't seen no picture. He said, here, it's coming your way. And he sent it to me, and I was like, yeah, yeah, this is the goods. This is a different deal. You know, when Trent found this buck, they said, okay, we got to put together a plan because they were getting pictures of him, but it was in the dark. So they said, we got to use our reveal cell cameras to find his bedroom. 
And that is exactly what they did. We met and, and took the attacks came out there and we buck blitzed it up, okay? <laughs> Maybe a little bit more recommended amount. <laughs> and he shows up. You know, I'm sitting there watching my phone waiting. Vzz, vzz, vzz and flip it in and he's right in front of the camera, looking right at the camera. And we, we can't believe it. I'm like, dude, we're, we're right where we need to be. Trent deserves a ton of credit because he primarily hunts this area. We're obviously a team, we can go we, together, but Paul can't cover it all, Johnny can't cover it all, Trent can't cover it all, so we kind of divvy it up. And then Trent was the one that, that found the deer, so he's the one that you know deserves the majority of the credit for finding the buck. And I think he made a huge blow up. I think we had one picture of him last year, yeah. the same type of frame, and I think he just went crazy. We had builder bone sites there, I mean, uh, 40 inches. I mean, yeah. he was in the 60s probably last year. He probably gained 35, 40 inches, I bet. At over 214 inches, this isn't a buck of a lifetime, this is a buck of 10 lifetimes. We knew we could sneak in there. We have the Kubota, we've got it loaded down. We've got a lock on, a ladder stand, pole saw in there, clippers. Because we felt, I mean, we both felt that he was right there. I mean, he was probably in, you know, within two or 300 yards of us the whole time, and we knew that going in. That amount of wind covered all kinds of, all kinds of noise. And we could set that stand, and if we made a little bit of noise, that wind was gonna cover us. You like it's good. PJ being, Super OU fan. You know, and I'm a huge OU fan, don't get me wrong, but PJ's listening to post game. <laughs> I, I literally with my headphones on. Yeah, he's what I call fat cabinet. He just laid back like a fat cat, relaxed, got his legs kicked yeah, up. It's comfortable with all get out. Yeah. And all of a sudden I hear, hey, there he is, there he is. This segment is brought to you by Reveal Cellular Cameras and the all new Reveal X, the ultimate remote scouting tool. To learn more, visit revealcellcam.com and by these fine sponsors. From the makers of the most accurate broadheads on the planet, Thorn Broadheads proudly introduces the all new XV. The same pinpoint accuracy at a fraction of the cost. Order yours at thornbroadheads.com. Visit FinalDescentOutdoors.com for exclusive apparel, helping you show your love for faith, family, and hunting. Can't get enough FDO apparel? Join our Shirt of the Month Club, where you'll receive an item of FDO apparel shipped straight to your door every month. We here at Final Descent Outdoors proudly use Buck Blitz, and here's why. Buck Blitz is more than just another attractant. It's actually made up of 18% protein, which provides the nutrients that our deer need throughout the entire year. And there's no accident that some of the biggest bucks that have been killed in Oklahoma were killed using Buck Blitz on that property. Buck Blitz comes in a 40 pound bag and it equals out to about $1.60 a pound. To learn more, to become a dealer, or to order yours, go to buckblitz.com. Oki Hides blinds are first class, American made hunting blinds built by experienced hunters. The solid steel framework of our blinds is designed to handle anything nature can throw at them. And our marine grade carpet, blackout curtains, and high quality windows will keep you comfortable and ready for action. To order or customize your next blind, visit okihides.com. Oki Hides, first class blinds, built for the hunt. High cost and low supply of building materials has put added stress on both contractors and weekend renovators. True Aim was created by contractors to supply customers with affordable products at unbeatable prices. Like GFCI outlets starting at $9.50. USB A and C equipped outlets starting at $11.50. True Aim also specializes in affordable smart home integration. For more information or to order products, visit trueaimsupply.com. We are so excited to once again be partnered with our friends from Big Frig Coolers. Big Frig makes roto molded tumblers and coolers to fit your lifestyle. The Big Frig Coolers are just so versatile. They're gonna be the right cooler for whatever your outdoor activity is. If it's camping, it's tailgating, backyard barbecue, or hunting and fishing. And the Big Frig Tumblers are designed to perform under any condition, if it's your wildest adventure or just your morning coffee. And their coolers and tumblers can be customized having designs or wording put on them and they make a great gift or they're perfect for giveaways for your business. So to learn more about every product offered by our friends from Big Frig, check them out at bigfrig.com.
HHAsports.com. This segment is brought to you by HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Made in America with a lifetime warranty. For more info, visit HHAsports.com. And by Fort Scott Munitions with tumble on impact technology. Support the ministry by using promo code FDO10 at checkout. Order yours at FortScottMunitions.com. And by these fine sponsors. He just, what's he doing? I'm like, he's looking. I knew he was looking at us because Trent was froze and couldn't, you know, he wouldn't move. I mean, he, so I knew the deer was looking and it, just as you can see on the footage, I mean, he's head up. So he might've known something happened, you know, but he didn't see us. He didn't know we you were know, there. He didn't know we were there. When he comes out, he's, he's 60 yards away and it's, you know, he's just looking and you're just like, man, yeah. this is this is a deer. And he's, he's full alert, he, he's looking around, he's trying to check things out. He turns and he walks, you know, kind of a northeast, and he's he's walking to the tree line. So now me and PJ are thinking he's going to hit that tree line and he's going to walk down to us. Yeah. yeah, he walks that way, never spooks, doesn't. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Gone. We left. I mean, we after it got we, dark, we climbed out, and he was back on camera in what, like an hour. hour. <laughs> yeah. We never spooked him. I mean, we never we never felt like we pressured him or scared him. He was he was calm as anything every time we saw him. When Paul saw this buck, he knew this is a buck of a lifetime, a buck that's over 200 inches. And he knew that this buck needed to go to Johnny, but he's got to convince Trent to feel the same way. You know, he's bigger than what we expected. PJ ends up at Johnny's and they watch the video. It was a terrible spot for me to be in. When I showed Johnny the footage, I said, this is a big time legit deer. And he's like, man, he said, just one, I just want one of them in my life. Just one chance at that. Later, Peter calls me and he's like, hey, you know, listen, I, Johnny saw that deer and he really likes that deer. You know, we go back and forth about this and, you know, me and PJ are kind of not seeing eye to eye on this deal. I tried, I was telling him, and I got told with both sides. I knew, both, I mean, I, obviously, and I get it. And he found him and he put all the work all summer while we were, you know, making fun of him and I got all that. But I kept trying to get to the point to him that I wanted him to, to get. I've lived that. I've got that deer in my house. I said, Trent, I'm telling you as a buddy, that's a feeling you don't want to have. It was all said and done, and the, the glitz and the glamour and the lights are gone. That man's going to be really, really sad, and that man's going to know it. it it's an emotional, I'd say it's an emotional deal. You know, I, I love Johnny to death. He's one of my best friends. And Sunday I come back out here to run cameras and check stuff, and, and I tell Johnny and Tom, I said, look, I want you to hunt that deer. You know, me and PJ talk, we're not on the best terms right now, but... <laughs> but I want you to hunt this deer. And he's like, man, I don't want anybody to be upset. And, and that's the kind of guy he is. And Johnny would easily let me go hunt it and never said a word. You know, I could have went and killed that buck and he'd never said a word and he'd have been, you know, happy as I'll get out for me, you know, but that's not what needed to happen. Now that the whole team is actually on board with the plan, it's time to get Johnny on a buck of a lifetime. We're headed in on a uh, really, really big buck. Johnny's idling in here. We gotta get pretty close. Johnny can't walk real far. All he's wanted in his life is a booner. It's a booner, I think. What's your, I mean, John, just what's your, like, I don't know, like, I mean, what are you, what, what are you feeling at this point? I realize he's a big deer. Were you so, nervous? Not really. Did you no. think we had a chance? Oh, yeah. He was, he was too routine. We're able to get in the stand. You think, you know, you know, most time you get in a stand, you're gonna, you've got time to wait. I set my backpack on the stand below me, and when I look up, you know, broad daylight, sun's still up, and the, you know, the buck of your life is standing out there at 125 yards eating persimmons, and it's it becomes pretty evident that it's gonna be go time much quicker than what you anticipate. This segment's brought to you by Big Frig, makers of customizable coolers, tumblers, growlers, and dry boxes. Use promo code FDO10 at checkout at bigfrig.com and by these fine sponsors. Now it's time for the Taylor Targets Tech Tip of the Week. Not only does Oki Hides Blinds make incredible tower blinds, they also make, maybe my favorite, the ground round, which is perfect for bow hunting. Being 30 square feet, it easily hunts two people. 
This five foot by six foot blind is carpeted, has tons of shelving, magnetic window covers that help you stay completely concealed, and it has seven windows. Shooting from any direction can easily happen. They come in multiple color options, and just like all the Oki Hides blinds, they're all completely customizable. So to learn more about the ground round and all the blinds from our friends from Oki Hides, check them out at okihides.com. From the makers of the most accurate broadheads on the planet, Thorn Broadheads proudly introduces the all-new XV. The same pinpoint accuracy at a fraction of the cost. Order yours at thornbroadheads.com. Visit FinalDescentOutdoors.com for exclusive apparel, helping you show your love for faith, family, and hunting. Can't get enough FDO apparel? Join our Shirt of the Month Club, where you'll receive an item of FDO apparel shipped straight to your door every month. We here at Final Descent Outdoors proudly use Buck Blitz, and here's why. Buck Blitz is more than just another attractant. It's actually made up of 18% protein, which provides the nutrients that our deer need throughout the entire year. And there's no accident that some of the biggest bucks that have been killed in Oklahoma were killed using Buck Blitz on that property. Buck Blitz comes in a 40 pound bag and it equals out to about $1.60 a pound. To learn more, to become a dealer, or to order yours, go to buckblitz.com. JTS, AK, and AR style shotguns give citizens the confidence, power, and precision to protect the home or take to the field. Optics ready, nimble, and designed to be used from a blind or stand. JTS controls every step of production to ensure you have a gun that can protect what you love and pursue the sport you love. This segment's brought to you by Woodhaven Custom Calls. Support our ministry by using promo code Final Descent 10 at checkout. Place your order at woodhavencustomcalls.com and by these fine sponsors. You can see I get the camera, I don't even get my, you know, I'm trying to video and you can actively see me shaking and I'm the camera guy. And the, the wind is, if, if the wind's iffy, but he throws his head up and looks, I'm thinking, please, please, please don't wind us. And I lean up and look to our right and there's three does come out of the creek. And when he sees them, he just drops his head and, and just jogs to them, just grunting. And I'm like, oh gosh, and I said, he's coming. He's already up and ready. When he sees the does, he just nods his head and I'm like, Keep him in the frame, because we're right where we need to be. This man knew enough to get to our kill spot. We knew where we'd come. We knew this was our kill shot. And all he had to do when that buck walked in was put his head down and poof. Finally, we climb down, we go find the arrow. It looks just like it's supposed to, just like you want it to. I was still looking in a little bit of a panic mode. About where he told me he was, he wasn't there. And then, then I laid the eyes on him. Poor buck. Look at that there. Oh my God, Johnny Maxwell. What have you done? What a deer. is undescribable. I've waited for him 40 years. Thanks. We done it, brother. We done it. Gosh almighty, we done it. I told you. That's what a booner looks like. I think he's a burner. <laughs> God, what a buck. When you see a deer like that, it can make you think Oh man, I've got to get this deer. I've got to get it, got to get it, got to get it. And then all of a sudden it's, no. Looking back, it's it's about the memories you can make with your buddies, with your friends. As hunters, several times we lose sight of what it's truly about. In the grand scheme of things, it's about friendship. It's about your buddies and it's about spending, spending that quality time together. 
These guys prove that when you put in hard work, you can see the results. It pays off. And the payoff for them is not only just a 214, but a 196 and a buck in the 180s in the last four years. You know, the same thing goes for our spiritual life. When we put in the work, when we're spending time in God's Word, praying, spending time fellowshipping with other believers, going to church, when we put in the work, we'll also see the results of that. We'll see the fruit come out in our life as well. You know what happened a year ago to tomorrow? A shot OD. <laughs> we, owe, we owe a ton of credit to Trent. he had run, been running this camera. Unbelievable blessed to have a buck like this, to get to hunt deer like this with my best friend and Josh and Trent. This is the biggest buck I've ever seen on the hoof, uh, and I couldn't think of anybody in the world that more deserving to get him than Johnny Maxwell. Thank you. You're welcome. Matter of fact, James 1.12 says to us, it says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. So when we are faithful and consistent with God, we bear fruit. And you know what, the same goes when it comes to the hard work that Johnny and Paul put in. Through good and bad, it wasn't always easy for them. For us, it's the same way. Life's going to be hard. We're going to have ups and downs. We're going to face trials. But when we're consistently walking with the Lord, the fruit will pay off. So what James is telling us, he says, be patient, put in the work, and don't get in the way. Let God do His thing. Just lean into Him through the good and the bad. So today, if we can be praying for you and encouraging you in any way, maybe today you're going, you know what, I don't have a relationship with God, but you know you need one. We would love to help you begin a relationship or get back on track with the Lord any way we can. You can actually go to our website, finaldescentoutdoors.com, send us an email, let us know how we can be praying for you, encouraging you. You can actually find us on social media, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, send us a message there. Let us know how we can be helping you be all that God's called you to be. Put in the work, be faithful, and get out of the way. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. God bless you, and we'll see you next week. Bailey's Outdoor Shop is the official taxidermist of Final Descent Outdoors. Closed captioning brought to you by Real Avid. <laughs> Strut your stuff!